There's a lot of information out there about the COVID-19 vaccines. But what do you really need to know? We'll begin with the basics. But first, a quick tip. Stay on the lookout for some pop-ups that can give you more information as you watch the video. What's a vaccine? Vaccines train your body's defense system, known as the immune system, to fight off specific invaders. Harmful invaders are called pathogens, and these can be viruses, bacteria, fungi, or other microorganisms. If we focus on viruses, we find that many vaccines are created by using some part of the virus we want to protect against. These vaccines may use dead, weakened, or inactive versions of the viruses, as those versions are unlikely to harm humans. Newer types of vaccines may even tell your cells to make a protein that a specific virus would make. The purpose of each of these vaccines is to train your immune system to identify and fight the pathogen when your body encounters it. This gives your immune system a head start at fighting off the real virus without getting a severe infection. Vaccines that have been approved for use are very safe. They're some of the safest preventative treatments available. But all vaccines carry some risk. In some cases, people may experience mild side effects, like a headache, fever, and pain at the site of the injection. In rare cases, vaccines that use weakened viruses can have negative effects on some people, especially those who have weakened immune systems. The biggest risk for vaccines is that someone may be allergic to certain ingredients, but this is very rare, about a three in a million chance. Starting in 2020, researchers were developing and testing over 100 different vaccines to fight the coronavirus SARS-CoV-2, which causes COVID-19. Some of the COVID-19 vaccines being developed use versions of the whole virus or parts of viruses to trigger and train the body's immune response. But the first COVID-19 vaccines that were released use a small bit of genetic material called mRNA. mRNA, or messenger RNA, carries instructions within cells to create proteins. The protein we're focused on for SARS-CoV-2 is called the spike protein. Spike proteins create the sort of crown that gives it the name coronavirus. These proteins are part of what helps the virus to infect our cells. By using mRNA that holds instructions for spike proteins, we can actually train our own cells to create a harmless part of the spike. Then our immune systems respond to the presence of this normally foreign piece of protein. When we get this vaccine, our bodies can learn to block the spike from attaching to our cells. Our cells can also alert other cells more quickly to attack the foreign proteins and in turn, the virus. Our immune systems fight invaders in many ways, but let's look at some of the cell types that are involved when we learn to fight a specific invader. Innate immune cells are the first to respond to an infection. These are groups of many types of cells that attack anything that's not supposed to be in the body. They warn other immune cells of an invasion and call other cells to where the infection is happening. Antigen-presenting cells are special cells that are called to the scene to gobble up foreign proteins or pieces of cells. The antigen-presenting cells then move these bits of invaders to their surfaces so they can safely show them to other cells. In this way, they can alert another type of defense cell, helper T cells. Helper T cells take the hint that an invasion may be happening and they launch a coordinated attack. At this point, B cells may take the call. If any B cells are found that are a match for the foreign protein pieces, they're activated. Those cells then start to make matching antibodies. Antibodies can either connect to a part of a virus to block it from entering a cell, or they can mark it as something that needs to be destroyed. Killer T cells can also be activated as part of the attack. Like B cells, they match up with a specific invader when they recognize parts of its proteins on the surface of antigen-presenting cells. Killer T cells can kill the cell or destroy the protein pieces directly. They may even release killer proteins as one of their main weapons. All of these cells are a part of the fight against harmful invaders, and they can fight more quickly and stronger against an invader they recognize. Once an invader, like the spike protein, is conquered, the types of cells that beat them create memory cells. Those memory cells can act or be activated faster later when they run into the same pathogen they fought before. That faster and stronger response gives your body the upper hand to fight against a familiar invader. So when you get a COVID-19 vaccine and your body encounters a weakened version of the virus or spike proteins made from its mRNA, your body is given a chance to learn how to protect you against COVID-19. And getting the vaccine doesn't just protect you. It can also help protect the friends and family that you come into contact with. We continue to learn more about vaccines and the research behind them. Click on the link in the video description to see the latest information. And make sure to check out our COVID simulator, which lets you explore how vaccines can help slow the pandemic.